do YouTube, man? Beezy in the building in today's video. Listen, man, I got we went on a big win streak on the twos with the number one building, 2K24, with the best jump shot and the best animations. Make sure you stay until the end of this video so you do not miss out on the best jump shot or the best animations. Without further ado, sit back, relax, let's get into it. Peace. Alright y'all boys, man, as y'all can see in this gameplay today, I'm on the twos court today, back on that 24, back on that 2K. I'm just trying to survive 2K until NCAA drop, you know what I'm saying? Then we all gonna be Gucci on that, you know what I'm saying? A couple more days till NCAA 25 release. Comment down below if you're gonna be playing the game or you wanna see me drop gameplay on it. We on the twos today on the 6-9. Y'all see easy buckets, right? We get it right to it. Off the inbound move. Ha ha heem 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 behind the back we shooting that mid-range shot. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know me, shooters gonna shoot at the end of the day. I'ma get mine, you know what I'm saying? That's just how we run it. Running with the guy tone in the cut, man. Give me one in the corner. Boom! You know what I mean? So chat, listen. We here just talking, running through this gameplay, and I wanna tell y'all, I'm gonna bring y'all the best jump shot and the best animations, even though we already on season eight. You know what I'm saying? 2K25 is just right around the corner. And listen, 2K has been dropping some news lately. Psych, they ain't dropped no news, man. Look, I, I was out for the YouTube, YouTube space for like five days. Came back, 2K didn't drop news, dropping the game in the store. And they ain't got one cent of gameplay, one thirty seconds of gameplay to show for. I seen about three screenshots, SGA, Tatum, Vince Carter, and Asia Wilson, who going to be the covers of the game. Shout out to y'all, you know what I'm saying? But listen, other than that, no gameplay, but they out there trying to have us pre-order the regular edition, limited edition, and Hall of Fame, whatever the other edition they call, bro. And I ain't see no gameplay. Come on, 2K, like, come on. Y'all want us, y'all so money hungry that we didn't even get an ounce of gameplay. No news. The only thing we've been told is that if we grind this season, we gonna get an oversized t-shirt. And if y'all y'all ain't seen me react to that video, make sure y'all go see me react to that video right now. That video was crazy, and I ain't gonna lie. Y'all gonna be y'all gonna by the information y'all read, 2K say y'all gonna be like, bro, what is going on? I get that easy dunk as I'm cooking these bums and these randoms. Now I don't even know how y'all still this whack on this game. This game been out almost a year now, bro. You know what I'm saying? And people on here still just suck, but hey. Easier dubs for me, easier wins, you know what I'm saying, easier runs. But when the comp come, you know what I'm saying, I'm still putting up 40. That don't mean nothing. Pull up like mid-range, brick that hole. I ain't going to cap. That's on me. They get a bucket. He, this 6'9 build is unstoppable if y'all never seen me play on this build. 6'9, can handle the rock, can shoot the rock, can defend the perimeter and defend the post, can be in the passing lanes, get steals, I get contact dumps. Y'all see, I just got that stop right there. Threw an off the elbow pass to my guy in the corner, and he just bricked it. Now, he need to get in the lab. Come on, Tone. Like, you got to lock in, gang. But listen, build is unstoppable. This might be the best all-around build I've seen all year on 2K24. And I don't even care what none of y'all on here saying, because watch this. 25, I'm making me another 6'9 point forward, and I'm just going to break 2K, you know what I'm saying, and do my thing for real, for real. So make sure y'all stay tuned for that. Now, as far as NCAA dropping next week, y'all know we're going to be tuned in on that. I'm going to still be dropping 2K videos. So I'm, I'm not going to stop playing 2K. Just because, honestly, bro, 2K25 <laughs> really about like a month and a half out now. I'm going to stay loose on the sticks, bro. You know what I'm saying? Usually around this time, I stop playing 2K. Give me that easy dunk. He Give me two. <laughs> Usually this time of year, y'all, I'm already done playing 2K. But I'm going to keep the uploads rolling. We've been on a roll lately. I'm not going to stop the grind, so... We just what we doing right here. Easy pass, easy back door. Y'all already seen from this gameplay. I done shot the ball, got some contact dunks, got some rebounds, and already defended the paint. So already, bro, I'm doing everything on the court regardless. So I was doing this mid-stream. I streamed like last week. Streams is returning every single day. So if you're going to be interested in those streams, so make sure Tony from three. My nigga just airballed that mug, man. Make sure y'all sit back and enjoy the rest of this gameplay. Comment down below. You can skip over to this jump shot, but if you do skip, you might miss some valuable information, so I do not recommend. Why is everybody in this boy airballing? What is going on? Listen, 
If you if you a center out there, if you a random man, drop your PSN in the chat, man. I'm looking for people to run with. I need teammates, centers, lockdowns, whoever, man. Especially when this 2K25 drop, or if not, when that GTA or on NCAA. So I'm gonna be active on anything, whatever we're gonna be playing. But be easy in the building. Sit back and enjoy this gameplay. Build breakdown next. Best jump shot next, and best animation. Don't miss out because if you put all these build, all everything on your player. Make it step by step. You're going to be one of the best players at the park, okay, at the rec. It don't matter what game mode you play. You just, that build is just so overpowered. You're going to be the best out there, man. So, without further ado, see you on the next one. Stay tuned, though. Eee! Touch again. <laughs> Keep shooting, man. So we're gonna shoot, man. Here we go, y'all, man. Best animation season eight of NBA 2K24. Now, listen, NBA 2K25 is just right around the corner. So, listen, we we waiting on news. 2K Origin dropped the game, dropped it in the stores, and we ain't even seen no gameplay yet. So, make sure. I really hope, man, while I've been gone, you know what I'm saying, on this little couple of day break, I hope y'all ain't purchased that 2K, not even knowing a single snip of gameplay and what that game looked like. It could be the same game for all we know. And you already got that boy pre-ordered, bro. That's tough. But listen, let's get to the best playmaking moves of Season 8. Last season of this 2K joint, man. But listen, John Morant, Pro Dribble Style, D-Wade Size Up, V-Fox Breakdown Combo, John Morant Aggressive Breakdown Combo, Kevin Durant Escape Moves for Combo Moves. Guess who I got? De'Aaron Fox, one of the best combo moves in this game. Crossover, De'Aaron Fox as well. Behind the back, DeMar on the Sacramento Kings next season, DeRozan. How y'all think DeMar DeRozan going to do on the Sacramento Kings? Comment that down below for me. Spin, we got the boy Kevin Durant. Hesitation, John Morant. 
Step Back John Wall and Triple Threat Style Kobe Bryant. Those are my best animations for Season 8 on my 6'9 guard build. Best build in 2K24. Now without further ado, man, let's get back into it. Shooting guard, 6'9", 185 pounds with a 7'3 wingspan, right? We know Jason Tatum is about 6'9", you know what I'm saying? The wingspan is realistic, you know what I'm saying? We, we, we kept the weight down because we want to keep and keep the speed, you know what I'm saying? We still want to be a fast build. We don't want to be no slow build out there, you know what I'm saying? Not being able to run and move, right? So, first things first, without further ado, man, we're going to go up and look at this close shot. 59 close shot, right? And so, I'm going to take y'all through the attributes and break them down and tell y'all how exactly they work. And I'm going to show y'all gameplay as well, man. So, look, well, let me just look at the screen. You see the gameplay, everything I need to see, right? 59 close shot, 77 driving layup with a 94 driving dunk, 85 standing dunk, and an 85 post control. Now, let me tell you something. With a 77 driving layup, man, you get Hall of Fame Slithery, Silver Acrobat, Gold Area Wizard, Hall of Fame Bunny, Gold Pro Touch, Gold Scooper, Gold Float Game, and Gold Giant Slayer, y'all. So, I can score with layups, floaters, spin moves, dunks, etc. It doesn't matter, right? Moving over to the driving dunk. Having a 94 driving dunk, as y'all can see. That's just OP, man, right? And if I do get 99, then I'll get a Hall of Fame posterizer. But at, at the end of the day, to me, it's really not that worth it, right? Because once I get takeover, I get that plus five, and I'm already at a 99 driving dunk. So there's no need for me to do that. You know what I'm saying? Yes, you get a Hall of Fame posterizer, but hey, with, with the takeover badge, dang near, you already got the Hall of Fame posterizer, right? 85 standing dunk and with 94 driving dunk, right? I get all the good driving dunks, contact dunks, everything like that, man. Those are overpowered, man. Let me say this. I got so many gameplay clips, y'all, of me getting a whole bunch of good contact dunks on this build, y'all, and I'll be showing y'all those, man. You get great contact dunk. The thing that makes this build OP, like a Jason Tatum build, because I can play out the post as well, right? 6 foot 9, 85 post control, you know what I'm saying? Silver unpluckable, silver post playmaker, gold dream shake, gold drop stepper with... Hall of Fame post fade phenom man OP badge gold post spin technician that's OP as well with the 88 mid range and moving on to the jump shooting 88 mid range 83 point shot with a 73 free throw man that's just too OP I ain't gonna cap to y'all right so with the 80 mid range you get silver blinders gold catch and shoot silver dead eye silver claymore silver corner specialist gold green machine and gold space creator right now. 83 pointer some of y'all might think that's too low for y'all and if y'all think so that's okay because listen i got y'all the fact that i have an 88 bit range i get all the best jumpers all the best animations and then i put boost on my jump shot so my mid range is a 93 i'm, I'm hitting y'all with kobe bryant post phase and things like that i can't y'all with post phase post hop shots because i have hall of fame like i said hall of fame post phase phenom so post phase are easy for me i can score at all three levels which makes this the most OP build, which is why I said it was a Jason Tatum build because he's like six foot nine and can do all that as well. This reminds me of a Paul George as well, right? Those type of players, the long athletic players that can defend and score as well, right? You can even say to an extent this is a Kevin Durant build, right? But I'm just six foot nine, probably an inch shorter. I probably call this more of a KD build, pal, probably because the mid range is so high and so lethal, right? So with a 75 pass accuracy, 80 ball handle, with a 75 speed with ball, right? So I can play make make plays and do everything like that to still get my teammates involved and if i got an iso i can still get an iso bucket you know what i'm saying we love the iso buckets i don't mind you know what i'm saying tell my teammate hey brother go sit in the corner brother man let me cook this dude up real quick right so i can iso i can make passes you know such as wreck if i get a rebound i can throw it full court pass so i ain't gotta worry about it going out of bounds and things like that and with a 75 pass accuracy, the passing is fast enough to the point where the defense is slow to react a little bit you get what i'm saying so they're so slow to react I can throw back doors, lobs, all type of things. I even, I remember one play, I threw like a behind the back flashy pass all the way up court between the defense. So 75 pass accuracy. If you're worried about that, bro, trust me, it's enough. You'll be set. You'll be fine. Don't worry about that. With an 80 ball handle, I think that's what makes this build OP. 6'9 with an 80 ball handle with an 85 three-pointer with a 95 driving dunk. Come on, y'all. Who's you, stopping me? Realistically, who's stopping me? Nobody, right? Silver unpluckable, silver ankle breaker. I can't tell y'all how many anchor breakers I get. And it's cool because it's like, dang, they should be activating out of nowhere, right? You get bronze, blow by, which I'm not mad at, right? You know what I'm saying? Bronze is better than nothing, right? I'd rather get a badge bronze than not have it at all. Blow by is a good badge. Silver handles for days. Like I said, six foot nine, can handle for days. I get bronze speed booster, bronze killer combos, as well as silver triple strike, right? So, silver triple strike. The playmaking on this build is, is underrated, right? I know you might think, like, bro, you don't even get all that many badges, but 
these badges is really all you need, right? And I'm gonna show y'all in that gameplay as well, right? Interior defense over to the defensive side, right? Ooh, I almost forgot speed with ball. That's on me. Listen, speed with ball, 75. Like I said, silver hyperdrive can stun move. You know what I'm saying? A lot of moves on the move. Y'all know a move that I do a lot. If I'm at Record Park, you know, I like to come down the court and I do that um Deer and Fox crossover. It's glitchy. It slides you through. It makes you like a speed boost animation kind of, right? But you got to be careful with the D Fox crossover because if somebody in that lane, they they, they going to rip you. You know what I mean? So for the 75 speed with ball, D Fox crossover, that crossover is lethal, man. I got to show y'all that move. If y'all want to see that, man, comment down below. Moving over to the defensive side. Y'all know BZ. I'm first team all defense. I don't care if I'm on a sharpshooter. I don't care if I'm on a lockdown. I don't care if I'm on a build with no defense. I'm still playing first team all defense. But what that means is, regardless of what my attributes say, I'm locking in on the defensive end, bro. You know what I'm saying? If you can hold defense, you're going to win a majority of y'all games, man. And speaking of defense, if you're struggling with defense on 2K, on my team, or play now online, go check out my defensive tutorial video. Man, that video is OP, man. Let me tell y'all something. If you apply that, you can apply the things that I peeped out in that video. You can apply it to Park, Rec Center, we play playing 5v5. You can apply it to any game mode. It's just about IQ. So if you're struggling with defense, go ahead and watch that video. 85 perimeter defense, 85 steel, right? With 85 perimeter defense, you might ask, bro, that's kind of low, ain't it? That's kind of low. Nah, my guy, let me tell you why it's not. Silver ankle braces, silver challenger, silver clamps, silver pick dodgers, silver workhorse, go off ball pass. Off ball pass is OP, bro. Y'all know in rec, when we go do try to hit through the back door, that's what that off ball pass to do. It, it makes sure like, you do you getting that bump animation. Kind of like a Pat Bev. When I think of off ball pass, I think of straight Patrick Beverly, bro. That nigga's a real life pass. 65 interior defense. I don't get anchored, but I get silver workhorse, which I really don't care about, honestly. But with a 65 interior defense, I do get stopped in the paint because I'm six foot nine. I still have the ability to contest. I'm tall enough, right? A lot of centers are only six foot nine. So the fact that I have 65 with a six foot nine, it's a good combination to where I still get stopped and still have defense. So don't gotta worry about that. 85 steel, right? So I get silver interceptor, silver glove, and silver right stick ripper. I, this build, every game, every time I play wreck y'all, no cap. I end the wreck game with at least four steals. This build is OP right? in, in the passing lanes, long passes, short passes. If I'm playing help defense, y'all know me. If y'all watch my streams and watch my videos, I'm always active on defense talking that junk, bro. Because on defense, you're not scoring on me. People look at it like, you look at this, you're like, oh, all he got is, that's all you, this is all you need, y'all. I'm telling you. On my 6-8 build, all I have is like a 70 perimeter defense and, I, and I'm clamping up. So it's like, it, it just depends how you play with IQ wise and things like that, right? Moving on to defense, I have a low block, you know what I'm saying? Low offensive rebound because I'm at the guard spot. I can't have everything, you know what I'm saying? You know, 2K trying to make it more realistic. So I decided if there's one thing I'm gonna miss out on is block. And that's something is because I know I still have interior and also most of the time I'm playing with another center because this is my guard build. I'm a six foot nine guard. So even at the fact that I don't get a block, I'm in there holding my hands up and nine times out of 10, I'm getting a stop. If I don't get a stop, it's because he got some glitchy dunk animation. But most of the time, I'm not even in those predicaments. But the times I am in those predicaments, I'm getting a stop. So, and last but not least, I have a 70 defensive rebound, right? And that gave me just enough to get bronze rebound chaser, which is OP. Because at rec center, I'm snagging centers. At anything, I'm snagging centers, right? Now, I think it might be because my 82 vertical helps out with that as well, right? Vertical comes in clutch. So, we're going to get that. We'll get there to that point, right? Over to the physicals, right? So, I let, let me tell you something about the defense. Don't get so fooled in the fact that I don't have a high enough steal, I don't have interior or offense or block. You don't need that. Play your role. I play my role. It's a, this is a guard build, right? So I play my role. But if I'm ever in that spot, which I don't want to be in the paint, but if I'm in that spot, I can get timely stops. 65 perimeter defense while being 6'9". I'm contesting mostly 75% of the people in the paint on this game. You know what I'm saying? So don't worry about that at all. I'm telling y'all. I'm going to show y'all in the gameplay as well. Watch some of this gameplay. Just watch how I'm playing and how my defense affects the game as well. 80 speed, bronze speed booster, silver hyperdrive, 66 acceleration. I know some of y'all like, 66? My God, what? That's too slow. No, it's not, bro. It is not too slow. Listen, on 2K, you do not need acceleration. You don't need that. Don't let them make you think that that's what you need, you know what I'm saying, because you got to be fast, this and that. 
Don't waste your points on acceleration. Trust me. And watch from this gameplay. If you don't believe me, sit back and watch the gameplay. 50 strength. Once again. 50 strength. 50 strength. Yes, bro. 50 strength. You don't need at all. You don't need all that strength. You really don't. Trust me, you all do not need OD strength on this game. Strength is overpowered. Every year before 2K, oh, you need strength. You need strength, man. I'm, I'm done believing that at this point. You know what I'm saying? Offense always beats good defense. Great offense always beats good defense. You know what I'm saying? And same thing with the game. Strength, what is strength really doing for me? If my offense is good enough, they not even going to get the ball back. What do I need strength for? So, unless you're a lockdown or you're playing post up. But if, that, if that's not your role, strength should be the last thing you worry about, honestly. 82 vertical, right? And that just helps with everything I already got. Go posterizer, go area wizard. It helps my rise up and it helps me get staying in boards and grabbing rebounds at 6'9, which makes it easier for me to grab boards, which is why I grab so many rebounds with a 70 rebound. And we have a 99 stamina, man. This is my favorite build I made this year, and I'm gonna tell you something. I'm not making another build the whole year because this is all that I need. You know what I mean? This build gonna get you through. Shades of Jason Richardson who's known as a Pierce Flasher. He won the dunk contest back in the OG days, if you have OG NBA knowledge. Herb Jones, who like, who the fuck is it? If you were NBA casual, you probably don't know who Herb, who Herb Jones is. He a lockdown. He a lockdown who played for the Pelicans. And you thinking Clay Thompson, he a sharpshooter. So you gotta build, You they gave me three different types of players. A slasher, a lockdown, and a sharpshooter. So what would that say about my build? OP, that's what, that's what I'm saying, bro. All these players are three different types of players. And they gonna put all these people on here, bro. So listen, three level threat, easy build, six foot nine, overpower, y'all know how we get. Like, comment on this video, Beasty Boy Beasy. Listen, comment out, man, make this build. Let me tell y'all something too. I'm gonna give y'all some cheese. If I don't wanna make this build and waste your money, hop on my league, create a player, create it with these same attributes, put your game on Hall of Fame and test this build out, right? Test the build out. I'm telling y'all, y'all not gonna be disappointed, man. Like this video, comment on this video if y'all new. It's your boy Beezy. See y'all in the next one. Peace. A lot of y'all clicked on this video because you want to shoot like me. And if you want to shoot like me, the best jump shot is here for you. Season 8 of NBA 2K24. Let's finish off this season strong with the best jump shot. You guys got to be out here shooting like Curry, Ray Allen, the top shooters in the league. Don't be out here shooting like you out here, Andrew Bynum and Andrew Bogut and Kendrick Perkins on the three-point line. You know what I'm saying? You got to be hitting threes. Lower base, we got Tracy McGrady, one of the best lower bases in this game. There's about four bases in this game that... You know what I'm saying? If you got them on, you're going to get carried through. You're going to be good. Oscar Robertson, up release one. You know what I'm saying? That's green bean. Shooter's going to shoot. One of the best up releases. And then upper release two, we got Sadiq Bey. Um, it, it's cool. It just got A minus release speed, which is why I have it on in my jumper. So as y'all can see, all those good grades, bro, what it really make is a solid jump shot. At the bottom right of the corner, y'all can see A plus release height, B minus defense immunity, B plus time and stability, and at, look, last but not least, most importantly, A, release speed. Now, when you're making this jump shot, you always want to make sure the release speed is all the way maxed out. You never want a slow jumper. If I see you over there shooting like Shaq at the free throw line, we got a problem, my guy. You got a big issue. Release speed, always max it out. And for this jump shot specifically, animation blending. Put it at 66% Oscar Robertson, 34% Sadiq Bey. And y'all, you got the best shooter. You got the best jump shot on 2K. Now, in order to get this jump shot, you do need to meet a couple requirements. You need at least an 88 mid-range or an 87 three. So, you know what I'm saying? I got a high mid-range on my jumper, on my build. That's why I'm able to get this such good of a jumper, which makes it easier and even that much better for me to shoot, regardless of my three-point rating. And then you can get a boost, and after that, it's up. You know what I'm saying? So, make sure you follow this jump shot, follow these animations, and create this build. Stick to the end so you don't miss any gameplay, any footage, any tips and tricks. A lot of y'all gonna skip to the end of this video, not make your build correctly, and come back mad at me when your build trash. So, without further ado, hope y'all enjoyed the video. Let's get to it. Dee! Still waiting for a big smile out of you. You're up 2 0. What's the story? Are you not happy, or you're only half happy, or? Still to be happy about. You're up 2 0. Job's not finished. Job finished? I don't think so. Don't follow rules, it's a renegade. I can't follow rules, I'm so renegade, I'm so uncared, I don't follow rules, I'm so renegade, okay. I 
hustling for myself, trying to see my brother pay. Not hustling for myself, trying to see my brother pay. I'm DTF for life, man, that what Prima say. I'm DTF for life, man, that what 